Greetings and welcome to the second part of your Weebly tutorial. In the first tutorial, we created your domain name, which was Joe's Portfolio. The next time you come into your Weebly site, you will see any domains you may have created. Maybe you had a practice one, you've been playing around before you really wanted to get serious about the one you started with. They'll all be listed right here. In the first tutorial, we created Joe's Portfolio, so that's the one we're going to use for this second tutorial. Click on Edit Site and your portfolio will open. It opens automatically and shows you a basic design that could be used. If you don't like this banner, you can come up here and choose another one by clicking the Design tab. And across this toolbar, you will see a plethora of design themes that you can use. If you just let the cursor sit over for a second, it'll pop up so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, maybe you're from the Wild West and you want to go with that kind of a theme, so we'll click on that one. And here's Joe's portfolio. It's uploaded, and now we can start adding information to it. So click on the Elements tab. And now one of the things you're going to like about Weebly is it's so easy to use. Let's say you want to add a picture of yourself with a paragraph of information. You just click, drag it down below until you see this yellow line. Let me slide this down a little bit here. There we go. And click. And there it is. It's that simple. So if you want to put some kind of salutation there, greetings, um, you can click on this part here and you can write stuff. And if you want to add a picture, simply click on the click here to edit. And it's going to ask you where your picture is. I usually keep things on a desktop so I can find them really quick. So go through that, choose the file, click OK, and you'll have a picture appear right there with your happy smile. If you would like to add a paragraph or let's say you want to add a resume link, instead of using the basic features, which are these right here with paragraph and title, you can go to multimedia and choose the file. We're going to add a file, click and drag, let go, there it is. Now you can click on this link and it will ask you where your resume is or Vita or maybe it's a class project, whatever it is you need to download that you want to create a link for, just put it there. It's linked up and when people come back they'll be able to find it. And there's your first page. Now understand you'll probably want to have several pages so how do you do that? Well, we go to the Pages tab, and here, all you have to do is however many pages you need, you just click, click, click. There are some new pages. Maybe you don't like the home name for your page. You wanted to say something much happier like, welcome, instead of just plain old home. So you can just do that. Click, and you're done. If you want to name the next pages as Resume, and maybe this one will be projects, whatever it is you want to use as your titles. They're there. Whoops, I did not change that one. Here we go. New page. This will be resume. Okay. If you want to change the order of these, just click on it and drag and you can move it. And it'll be in whatever order you want it to be. And it's that simple. So there you go. We've created some pages. Now if you go back to elements, you can go to each page. and it will, there they are. The pages will be right here. So if you want a projects page, click on it. It'll bring you to that page. The banner stays the same all the way through. So simply click, drag below the banner. And now whatever you want to put there on that page, projects, links, it's all there for you. So basically that's all there is to the Weebly software. If you have any comments about how to make this tutorial better, please let us know in the CIT department at Frostburg State University. Thank you and enjoy.